Well, as you just mentioned, storms rolling through our area today brought with them some strong wind gusts. Yeah, gusts at times today reach 30 miles per hour. So tonight, a question, what's the difference between wind gusts and sustained winds? That's a good question for Storm Track 15 meteorologist Michael Crowley. You may hear Dan, Adam, or myself say something like sustained winds of 10 to 15 miles per hour with wind gusts upwards of 30. Now you may think that these are pretty much the same thing, but there are actually some big differences between them. So today we will answer Michael Hill's good question. What is the difference between sustained winds and wind gusts? Thanks for sending that good question in, first of all, and we will answer it right about now. So sustained winds take the average strength of winds over a period of time. In this case, hurricanes are measured in this way using the Saffir Simpson scale. Now, the hurricane strength is based on the one minute sustained winds, not wind gusts. And wind gusts will show the strongest wind speed recorded within a certain time frame. So wind gusts exceeding 58 miles per hour in a thunderstorm will cause a severe thunderstorm warning to be issued. The difference between a wind gust and sustained winds can be a bit tricky to understand, but they are both necessary to provide you with the most accurate weather forecast. So try not to let this information uh, blow you away. <laughs> if you want to see that good question answered on the air, pull out your smartphone and scan the QR code that you're seeing on your screen. This will send you over to my email, which is mcrowley at kadn.com. You can send them to me and I'll answer them right here on News 15. I'm Storm Track 15 and meteorologist Michael Crowley. I look forward to those good questions.